This is the wonderful Georgia red clay. Oh. It uh, it's not that wet right now. It's a little damp, but man, when this stuff gets muddy and it just a lot of a lot of rain, it's not fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, you basically be dyeing your shoes a different color. Um, I haven't had to deal with that in a very long time. It's been uh, almost 20 years since I've hiked in the Georgia mountains. So, uh, this uh, climate, actually the first thing I noticed is when I got out here to the state park was the smell of the trees. And looking around seeing red clay and everything, it was like, man, a lot of memories. <laughs> a lot of memories came out. It is just so damn quiet out here, other than the birds. <sighs> These little guys. <laughs> it's cool seeing even the insects that you don't normally see in Florida. That's like the third one of those I've seen already. I've only been out here for about an hour and a half, two hours. It's about, it's about 9.30. I think it's like 11, 15. Alright. Still on the Appalachian Approach Trail. It's going to be an all day hike. Uh, it's all good though. So I take my time. Got rain in a few hours. If it's, you know, raining really bad, it's going to, it's going to suck if it's, a lot of red clay again. Right now it's just a lot of small rocks and roots. Actually, I think I'm coming up to a service road. Yep, looks like. Trying to find a place to take a break. Everything's wet. So being a little bit picky. Not to mention, you know, the more distance I cover before it rains, the better. I don't know. If it starts raining real heavy, I have to set up my tent in the rain, <laughs> which will be fun. Uh, definitely not setting it up over any clay. Hang on a second. It's hard to see on the phone. But this little ditch. Yeah, it's really hard to see on the phone, but yeah, these ditches, they're also very much like on a Kennesaw Mountain, Georgia. Um, it's a, know, probably a couple hours drive from here. Closer to Atlanta, but uh, in Kennesaw Mountain, those were uh, those pits were dug during the Civil War because it was a, a battlefield. I mean, all of North Georgia had skirmishes and battles during the Civil War. But I was just walking by, just see if I can get a better view. Yeah, I mean, it's like right, right there. You cannot tell on camera. Sorry. Um, yeah, it was, a uh, it was pretty awesome as a kid, you know, first cut two mountains, I climbed Stone Mountain, and then Kennesaw Mountain, and, uh, yeah, there was little ditches everywhere that were basically foxholes for the Confederate Army when they, uh, 
the Union is coming up the hill on Kennesaw Mountain and <laughs> to say that uh, those guys didn't have a chance coming up that mountain is putting it lightly. Um, I can see why the Confederates won that battle. <laughs> it was a you know, fishing barrel going uphill in an entrenched position. <sighs> yeah, anyway, enough of the history lesson. <laughs> The, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the trail seems to be pretty, pretty natural. You can tell it's very well maintained. Um, it's not always like that. And, um, and this is just the approach trail. Once you get out remote, you'll probably run into some stuff that's busted up. This hasn't been reported yet. Ooh, perfect. Look at this. Looking for a place to take a break, have lunch. <sighs> yeah, <sighs> this will do. I mean, <laughs> sun's coming out a little bit. That's nice. All right, I'll catch up with you guys later. Thank you for watching.